the hunt for the Steve Austin rookie card. Truck so long today as we open a pack of 1995 WCW main event wrestling cards by cards. We are X2 as nice, twice as nice. Wrestling card pack openings and all things wrestling. Subscribe. Now back to the video, wrestling fans. Before we get cracking here, I want to talk a little bit about wrestling rookie cards. Unlike some of your other sports cards, wrestling did not produce a series every year. And in 1991, WCW produced the Impel and the Turner Marketing, two sets in 91, neither of which featured Steve Austin. Then in 92, Topps released a UK-exclusive WCW set, which did not feature a Steve Austin rookie card either. Fast forward to 95. No other sets from 92 to 95. This is not Steve Austin's rookie year, but it is his rookie card. And we can point to some other sports as use this as an example. The 96 Fleer Michael Jordan card. Fleer or Topps did not produce cards prior to that during Jordan's true rookie year. Star Picks did, but a lot of people don't consider the Star Picks the rookie. They consider the Fleer card the rookie, even though it's in 86, not the year, the rookie year, but the rookie card. And of course, the 85 Topps Mark McGuire released as part of the USA Olympic subset is considered McGuire rookie card, but he wasn't in the MLB until late 86, 87. So there's an example of your rookie cards. Wrestling cards are not always produced every year during the 90s. Hope that clears some things up. Let's get to cracking, baby. Cracking. We got all that rookie card stuff out of the way. Let's see who we got. Let's, man, I want to pull that Steve Austin rookie card. I'm going to keep buying packs until we get one. And Booker T is in this rookie card year. I believe Diamond Dallas Page as well. And we've got a Hacksaw Jim Duggan, which we've actually pulled in one of our other pack openings against Bunkhouse Bucks. That's a little disappointing. Sting is to follow, I believe. Yep, Sting drop kicking Shark, a.k.a. Earthquake, a.k.a. John Tenta. Let's check out the back. It looks like a really cool Harlem Heat card coming up. Sting met Ric Flair. Clash of Champions. So this is a tribute card. Talking about Ric Flair, but the picture shows Shark. How does that make any sense? But hey, all right, here we go. And you've got from live from the set of WCW Saturday night, you've got Harlem Heat rookie cards with Sister Sherry. Really cool card right here. Love that setting. You've got the old school set where it opened up and you came out beautiful card let's check out the back stevie ray one half of harlem heat once declared when you beat the best you are the best when you beat the baddest you are the baddest and when you beat the toughest you are the toughest enough said heat beat stars and stripes for the titles stars and stripes i believe was bagwell and the patriot tag champion so there we go very cool card all right next pack we've got and there we got Hollywood and Vine. Steve Austin against Johnny B. Bad. This is a rookie card. A cocky, self-centered athlete from Hollywood, California. Stunning Steve. Austin is as talented as any in the squared circle, particularly since he perfected the Hollywood and Vine leglock submission finisher. I didn't think anything is ever going to harm my career other than not being able to get the title shots that I deserve, he said. Who held the U.S. championship in 94? So Hollywood and Vine, he's got him into Hollywood and Vine. I was like making sure I was reading that correctly. But there it is, and that's Johnny B. Bad and Steve Austin. That is a Steve Austin rookie card. Now, there are a couple other Steve Austin rookie cards in this set. This one's really cool, actually. So let's put him right there. We'll leave the Steve off. We got a couple more cards. We got a young Marcus Bagwell. And I'm trying to flip these in a way so we don't dis young Marcus Bagwell there. Let me 
very cool there. So there's a Marcus Bagwell. This would be a Bagwell rookie card also. Because the, the only other cards before the 95 WCW was the 91 WCW Impel and marketing cards, which we've done. Now, there was a 92 Tops WCW set, but it was basically they took the pictures that were left over from the 91 sets and made a set. And I believe it was a UK exclusive, and it wasn't a very good set. And here we have the Alex Wright rookie card. That's a wonder kid. Rookie card and next we have beautiful diamond dallas page looks like he's wrestling johnny b bad there mark marrow that would be a diamond dallas page rookie card awesome card and let's open let's check out the back we got one more card i'm trying not to give it away we already know it's the harlem heat though but Let's check out the back of the cards. Very sweet. You've got DDP with that cigar. The cool little glasses on there. Man, I miss some DDP. And early years DDP, he was so obnoxious. It, but it was cool in a good way. Um, and of course, later years DDP, he was the face of the company. I love the face DDP as well. And here you have another Harlem Heat rookie card. In the black and maroon type attire. I don't remember watching them in this attire very often. Because I don't hardly see any flames on there. The flames aren't as predominant as they are on some of the other ring attire. But very cool card nonetheless. Stevie Ray and Booker T. Harlem Heat. One of my favorite tag teams of all time. Truly love some Stevie Ray. Absolutely love these guys right here. So, awesome card. One of my favorite all-time tag teams. I, you know, need to do a list. I'd put Harlem Heat right there with the Road Warriors as uh, atop my leaderboard of all-time favorite tag teams. Harlem Heat's definitely in the top five. At some point, we need to do that. But there we got, there we have, excuse me, the Steve Austin, one of the Steve Austin rookie cards. So we finally got one, and we got a DDP rookie card and Booker T Harlem Heat as well. So awesome pack. Finally, a good pack. I've got one more of these to open, and we'll do a video, of course, and open it together and have some fun. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Comment down below. Make sure you have a great day. Make it a blessed day. Make it a twice as nice day. And that's the bottom line.